Hello everyone. Gonna try top water this morning. Didn't have to work this morning. And by the way, if you're wondering where my beard is, it's this goiter on my neck. Beautiful, huh? But we're gonna try this bluegill life target that I've always wanted to try. So. Maybe they ain't awake yet. Got one! Oh! Lost him. Oh. What the heck? This spot was never here. Someone did this. This was never like this. Huh. Crazy. Alright. Okay. Holy crap. Look at that. I don't know if that was a bass or what. Seems like totally carp mode. Oh shit. <laughs> Fucking homeless camp right there and I always knew there was. But Never seen them with their tent actually out. I think it's falling so fast. Well, went to uh, change batteries in my camera and realized I left all my batteries at the house. So originally I was gonna go to, the, to some ponds up north way up north but now since I have to go down south to grab all my batteries and stuff might just go stay down there go to some ponds down there or I might go up north anyway if I feel like driving that far but it's freaking rush hour so McDonald's stop first Alright, so we went with plan B, fishing ponds around my house. Now this pond, I've never caught anything substantial out of, but a bunch of little ones. So, I've been here a long time, figured what the hell.
There we go. Looks like a good one for this pond. There we go. Stand down. Oh, I freaking had him in the freaking gill anyway. Oh, there's no one. We'll count that one. <laughs> Stay the fuck away. Well, three. Caught three. Well, caught two and then had the one that came off like five feet in front of me off the chatterbait. But, um, yeah, an hour and a half, I think. And then those freaking guys walked around the whole pond, didn't catch shit. And they went right across from me and just kept staring at me. And then, and kept casting towards me and everything, even though they couldn't come close to me. But so I kept whipping them right across the pond, right at their head, just to piss them off. But figured that I'd give them my sloppy seconds, and I'll go hit up another pond. And that's what they did. As soon as I walked off, the one guy went right over there. So whatever, just no fucking respect, man. I'm tired of it. People need to learn some fucking respect. But, yep. Well, I did just decide to call it a day. Uh, I know for a fact that you'll miss the bum fight in the video, because I know my camera is dead, because I checked it afterwards, because I was like, yeah, I hope I got that. But, I'm pretty sure I got when I went up to it, and I was fishing it for a little bit by where they were at, or not really where they're at but I decided to walk in a little bit further after a while fish another tree that was falling down and they started going all freaking crazy on me asking me why I was there and blah 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 and just threatening to sick their dogs on me and crap <laughs> but I, I finally I just took off diffused the situation told them I was gonna call the police though which I didn't but I don't know what they're going crazy for they shouldn't even be living there whatever and then that second pond those two guys i don't know if you can hear it but when they were over there they were just talking crap and kept staring at me and casting towards me and all that stuff i just got tired of that too but it's not really why i came home i'm just i've been going hard for a couple months now not sleeping with the crap waking up early going to work waking up even earlier to go fishing that's need to relax a little bit but I'll probably record the video for tomorrow tonight I'll record it maybe or maybe just record it tomorrow but it'll be a lure review that's pretty awesome so you should check that out that'll be Thursday's video but yeah if you're not already subscribe subscribe comment like all that fun stuff 